Yeah. Hi, my name is Rivera. This is our client to turn around in Barrowwood. And that's Tom, well, that's Ryan, Tom, and Sergey. This is Sergey, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Nice. All right, our agenda for today is we're going to discuss some of our main problems we have with this company and list out all our solutions and how we're going to turn around this company. So starting out with the main problems for Envirewood, um, the main issue that we found with the failed marketing attempts is that their current marketing materials lack a lot of good content that actually gets across to their intermediaries. And so far they've spent um, over half a million dollars on this marketing material, so have just been burning all their available cash. So the three types of intermediaries that they have to market to are distributors, lumber yards, and deck contractors. And so that's basically how their supply chain works. And they both require, they all require specialized marketing opportunities, which they're not getting at the current moment. And they also don't have enough sales representatives to work throughout all the United States that they try to cover. And so the other big issues have to do with product quality, where we have all of the competitors to Envirowood on this chart here. Envirowood is set at $2 for the price, and its average score is at 3.2. But then you have some of its competitors, such as cedar, as well as clinically or chemically treated wood, which is only a little bit less in quality rating, but has, you know, a much lower price, 55 cents for cedar, and then a whole dollar less for chemically treated wood. So um, Envirowood has to do a lot better at getting its product quality up in order for customers to pay a premium price. Okay, and we've also came up with three big solutions. Number one is to relocate the sales efforts. So basically we are relocating our company to a, um, basically the West Coast so it could be easier for the, the um, employees. Uh, number two is to uh, improve the, the product quality. We want to make our, our products as, as best as possible. So, so, our, so our customers can have great products and there won't be any um, regret from the from the customers and from the, the products that they buy and and number three is to market more e um, efficiently and we basically want to um, have our products at a at a um, lower cost as he said the wood previously was at two dollars and we plan on making it um, uh, well basically dropping it down to one dollar and fifty cents next slide is the short term plan. So we, we want to sell um, the faculty product as soon as possible. As I previously said in the last slide, um, from the $2, we want to lower the price to 150. We want to distribute flyers, and we, um, and we, we, uh, we want to sell all of our inventory. And we want to move our team to the West Coast, as I said. Um, and it will pretty much be better for the employees working there that would give them more motivation to come to work. It is nice weather. Everybody likes nice weather, right? And it's also higher income. They are, they will be more um, willing to work and then push out greater products at a, a more efficient and a timely manner. And we want to build our West Coast brand. And, and that means updating the flyers with, with standard pricings and to target intermediaries individually. And lastly, we want to hire advertising interns from a, um, a you know, from a um, nearby university. And we feel that these interns will have the, the proper marketing knowledge to basically um, advertise our products. All right, so more, more goals we got. Um, so build a successful prototype. This part's really important. So if we build a successful prototype, then when we actually go to get our investors, they'll be more willing to like invest in our product. So first thing, we this product needs to have all our guarantees. It needs to like be just as good at tracks and still be like a little bit cheaper. Okay, so next part is the pitch. The pitch is the biggest thing. We need to be passionate and we need to know that our product's good and show them that it's good. So here we have, uh, we got to develop a well-designed pitch, explain the previous problems and how we fixed them, and then uh, talk about like our previous sales, how we did, how we got our money to where we're at today. And basically just make our product seem like the best product on the market. Uh, a couple of long-term goals now. Um, we need to build a network of investors, which will 
uh, hopefully work out with the pitch and everything. Also with the interns that we hired, hopefully like they reached to like different markets that we couldn't get to on our, on our own. Um, yeah, build a new well-designed product on a large scale. So once we, uh, once we actually start getting investors in, we can start building this product as much as we possibly want. So this way we can actually accommodate all our new customers' needs. Um, I also thought it'd be really great to have like a solid customer uh, service reputation. So this way like people like just from hearing about like how well you guys were like doing the sales, you'll get uh, more customers. And then uh, after we do this and like we're well set on the West Coast, then we can go back to where we originally were and start expanding across the globe. Uh, we've worked long and hard to come up with these ideas and we hope that you guys like them. Thank you.